Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel Physics Surgery and here we are in Physics Surgery Quickies, the fast food for your thought. And this is one fast food I would say it is definitely harmless for the students. So this video is going to specialize on the concept of Newton's law of cooling and the proportionality coefficient that you see in the Newton's law, is it related to convection or radiation? Okay, so here's the question that helps us understand that in Newton's law of cooling, d theta by dt is equal to minus k theta minus theta naught, where theta is the temperature of the body cooling and theta naught is the temperature of the surroundings or the ambience. The constant k is proportional to and here we are having four options one or more than one may be correct okay so try this out for a minute and do come back for the uh, concept and the solution that i'm going to explain okay this uh, problem actually featured in this particular video of a series that have already started recently je mains 2021 revision series in the topic of thermal properties of matter it's a pretty lengthy and uh, video made with lot of effort containing 50 plus practice problems and 10 plus homework challenges and one of the homework challenge was the question given and if in case you want to uh, look at the other homework challenges you can go to the video and answers to those homework challenges are in the comment section below that particular video so the link of the video is in the description so you don't want to wait for the solutions like this you can actually go through the comments in that video and get to the answers okay so the concept that i'm going to explain here is a very familiar uh, concept in the textbooks that you see but the problem is the misinterpretation of this concept okay so the newton's law of cooling usually applies to the convection or convective heat transfer and it does not as is the case with misconception in a lot of uh, students minds that it does not actually appear uh, to be related to thermal radiation so the actual newton's law comes from the dq by dt law which is equal to h times a into tm t minus ts ts is the temperature of the surrounding a is the area of the body and h is the heat coefficient okay so this heat coefficient could be associated in general to all the three forms of uh, heat transfer conduction convection and radiation but radiation is actually not in in general but it is only considered for a special case of delta t being small so if you write dq by dt for that solid body or whatever body that you are looking at as ms dt by dt and bring that ms down then your k is actually this particular term okay so you could also include a minus sign in both the places okay so the idea is that this particular h into a you could see now that k is directly proportional to a inversely proportional to m but the misleading part is some students think that this h will contain the emissivity yes it does contain if you take radiation also but it is a sum of the three forms in which you can't say it is proportional to e some of the uh, coaching centers uh, manuals or materials contain this particular proof which is a misleading one i'm not saying it is completely wrong but if you consider convection then this is definitely not correct here you could see the k seems to be coming out to be proportional to e which is not right if convection exists and con conduction exists which they usually do if there is a coffee cup and that problem is being asked then you cannot have only this particular term there will be terms from convection and conduction so you cannot say the k is directly proportional to e okay so that's the idea so let's go back and mark the appropriate answer for this it is definitely proportional to surface area of the body it is inversely proportional to specific heat so it's not correct and inversely proportional to mass is perfect but emissivity is in general not actually correct okay so that's the idea behind this law and i hope your misconception is cleared so you want to check out the rest of the quickies please do check the link of the playlist is in the description below and also the other series that are developed in this particular channel if you're new try to go through two or three videos before your exam uh, preparation is done uh, you will definitely find them worthwhile so please do like share and subscribe to this particular channel and uh, do check out the videos i'm pretty sure with the quality of the content you would be forced to subscribe okay thank you and see you in the next quickie